dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the Gospel passage for us to reflect upon is from St. Mark's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34, which focuses on a question by a scribe as to the most important commandment which Jesus identifies as love of God and love of neighbor. When the scribe came to Jesus, he was actually looking for asking Jesus to tell him what is the essentials, because there are so many laws and regulations among the Jews. The Twelve Commandments given through Moses were reinterpreted using 613 other regulations, 365 prohibitions and 248 obligations. So in practice, even the Pharisees themselves were confused as to what the essentials were and what the non-essentials were. And very often, as Jesus tells them, criticizes them, they practiced the non-essentials and ignored the essentials. We find that in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 23. So when the scribe came to Jesus, he was asking Jesus, tell me, Lord Master, what is the essential? Where should I focus on? Because nobody can practice all of them perfectly. And that's where Jesus tells him, you have so many of them, but the main one, the essential one, is this love of God and love of neighbor. Here, Jesus was not giving his own laws, but he was just repeating what is given in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Jesus was combining what is given in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4, which says, the most important commandment here for Israel is to love your Lord God with all your might, with all your power, and with all your strength. To that he added the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. Love your neighbor as yourself. So what Jesus is trying is to simplify the Christian way of life. We don't need to focus so much on what we are expected to do, the obligations, the duties, the priests of the church. They are all important and useful, but they may be ignored if we practice one thing, love. Love of God and love of neighbor. That's why St. Augustine said, love God and do whatever you want. You cannot go wrong. Our life can be either rule-bound or law-bound. In the first case, we focus on the rules, what we are expected to do, what we are prohibited not to do, etc. But when the external rules are piled up, life becomes so hard, so difficult. We are afraid whether we would break a law and then there's the punishment. That's why St. Paul said, Romans chapter 5, verse 20, when the law came in, sin also increased, because we are aware of violating them. So the rule-bound law is always a burden. That's where Jesus comes and says, the law-bound life is what makes our Christian way of life easier and light. It should come from our heart, not from external observance, not from focus on the law. As St. Paul says, letter to the Romans chapter 2 verse 15, the laws are written in their hearts. Our following of Jesus, our Christian life should come from our heart. Even the Pharisees were aware that an ordinary man, or man cannot follow all the rules. That's why they separated themselves as a separate group that separated one of the chosen ones. 
and the only norm of a true religious man a true jew was this how much they how much he or she obeys the rule the laws but jesus said no the criterion of a true christian a true follower of a religion is how much he loves how much he loves god and how much he loves others christian life must be a matter of heart it should come out of love and not out of compulsion one who loves knows what to do he will do the right thing nobody needs to tell a good mother how to treat how to deal with his how with her child because he she knows simply because she loves her loves the child we know the purpose of law is to help the imperfect men and women law is given to us we have laws everywhere in the society in the church in the communities everywhere because we are imperfect if everybody was perfect there would be no need of any law because we would know what to do from our heart love perfects law that's why jesus says your practice of religion must be out of love that comes from our heart when there is love even the most difficult law becomes light and becomes easy and we find it easy to practice them in the families in the communities where there is love things go smoothly there is nothing nothing is a burden there we know the same actions of two people can arouse two completely different responses in us emotions in us one we may face with a smile and the other with a grudge with irritation and so on just based on what our attitude towards them is if there is love between me and the other person everything is fine so what is missing is love i'm sure we know the story of the young boy carrying his younger brother on his back who the young boy the young brother was crippled and somebody asked the boy why are you carrying your brother is he not heavy and the boy replied he are in the heavy he is my brother so when there is love nothing is heavy nothing is difficult and nothing is a problem we accept everything with a smile so dear sisters and brothers when our neighbor our friend our brother our sister becomes a hell as the philosopher frederick nietzsche said think of how much love there is he or she is a hell a problem a burden because the love is missing that's what jesus tells us to emphasize today forget all other laws rules focus on this your love of god and your love of neighbor if you find your christian way of life difficult think how much love of god you have if somebody in the community in the family becomes a burden a cross a suffering for you think of how much love you have when there is love everything is light love god love others and do whatever you want as saint augustine said may god bless all of us